a young lady fatally shot because she won a basketball game. Let's put her picture up, full mass, 21 years of age, that was it. This happened in Dallas, Texas. A man shot and killed this young woman after she beat him in a pickup basketball game. Asia Womack was shot and killed earlier this month after playing basketball at TG Terry Park, just up the street from her home. Asia was a whiz at basketball, playing her high school days at Madison High. Her family says she was in a pickup game at the park playing against a guy who is said to have shot her because she won. The family also says there was trash talk too. Well, that's normative, that's basketball, it's part of the sport. According to the family, the shooter took his kids and brother home and came back to the park shooting Asia five times. Cameras at a nearby store possibly captured the car speeding away. Detectives have taken the video. This was supposed to be a friend of Asia's. Her mother, Ms. Womack told the outlet, she's eaten with the man. She's fed him and he turned on her and killed her in a vicious way. Just put up the picture of this monster. Police later identified the suspect as Cameron Hall, 31 years of age, who has not been arrested and charged with murder. I want to say this, the young lady um, should be alive, but because this individual had such perhaps a bruised ego, was actually a coward on the inside, small, who wanted to be big. And now there's their parents grieving, there's a family who's distraught. And the background of this story is so extreme because the young lady actually provided care, support and friendship to this man who allegedly killed her. Now sometimes people will show you who they are and you may say, they'll never be like that to me. They'll never do that to me. They will never treat me that way. Be careful with that sentiment. Somebody trusted him, somebody trusted that he would not be the person he was to her. She trusted him. All right, Jeff thoughts. One of the millions of things that bothers me right now is if he would have won that basketball game, she would have shaken his hand yep. and moved on with her life. It's almost to the point that like, Perhaps maybe, and she didn't know, but maybe she should have let him win. And how many avenues of life have we heard that about men when it comes to men approaching women for their phone number to get like a romantic relationship with them and women just for the sake of their life, slowly, gently let them down just so they are not abused. This man is small, like you said, he is a loser. Yeah, and it's just it's it's yet another exhibit of toxic masculinity. Yep, it's another example of how men can be emotional as well. So, God bless that family and friends. She should still be with us. She should be alive. She should be destroying other men at that basketball court yep. right here, right now. And I hope this dude is put under the jail. And after certain basketball games in prison, you know, yeah. people show him how to lose graciously. I, I should say, put that. Yeah, that way. and here's the thing, you know, he, he won't try that with anybody else. Um, and women should not be um, forced to shrink because of the fragile weakness of toxic masculinity. And this is the reason we fight against the sentiment. And there are some that will say, oh. Oh, you, you don't want a man to be a man. No, no, I'm fine with a man being a man, I'm a man. I'm okay with masculinity, it's the toxic kind that's dangerous. And that's the kind I fight because it comes from a place of lack. It does not come from a place of wholeness.